so many people have been uh, that they follow uh, certain uh, radio stations, the, the Patriot type things. That, that I some a lot of them are phony. I'm afraid to say uh, they don't give them all the real information they need to know. Um, uh, and they're so confused that they're following different types of gurus like David Icke and different ones that lead them out in circles. I've never seen so many confused people in my life, really. Well, David Icke's an interesting story, actually. I don't know much about him, but I've seen some of his material. And when he got into the shape-shifting lizards and said it with a straight face, yeah. uh, you know, I found it very hard to believe that there are individuals who are truly shape-shifting lizards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's the key behind this. Now, this, this is something people should realize. Um, MI5 and MI6 have a place outside the Cotswolds. It's called the Cotswolds outside London, where they train people to go out into the world and create mysticism and confusion. And, and Alastair Crowley was one of the first men they sent out there who, to set up the OTO, the Order Templi Orientis, uh, a higher Masonic group, which, which most, most people in Hollywood join and, and most musicians join. And, uh, and they've followed him up with many others since. Now, David Icke took everyone else's work who'd done the real investigations. He shot to the top. All the doors opened from him. You couldn't buy that kind of publicity. Uh, unless, it, unless someone gave the nod at the top. Uh, it cost millions just to publicize him. And he became a superhero, leads all the people using all of this information of other authors, and then leads you off like the Pied Piper in a circle to the lizard people. And all of those authors in the backs of his book are now ridiculed into the same, the same place as he's taken you. That's how you. That's called counterintelligence. Sure. Oh no, it, it's very, it's very effective yeah. because if they can make uh, make you out to be Looney Tunes, yes. and everybody he's mentioning goes with him. Uh-huh. Do you think he's aware he's a pawn? I, I, I'm sure he knows exactly what he's doing. He phoned the, the Sweet Liberty site uh, some years ago, and then got in touch with me for a lot of the information that he used, and uh, the only stipulation was that he didn't spin it off into any any odd series of serpents and so on. But it didn't matter, he did it anyway. 